you asked, why is the price of batteries not going down? So in Australia, we got 3.3 million solar systems on the roof. It's actually by head of population, a world record. So we're creating a lot of renewable energy and the most of it we generate in the middle of the day. The problem is now in Australia, manufacturing has gone down, which absorbed a lot of the electricity during the day. So we have a big hump of electricity available in the middle of the day and we can't do much with it. Now we need it in the afternoon and we need it in the evening. So if we would have batteries, we then could actually harvest that electricity in the middle of the day, put it in the battery and have it available in the late afternoon and at night when we need it. So the price of batteries is very, very important. And with batteries, we expect that the story to become very similar to solar panels. And with solar panels, the story is that every time you double production capacity, you actually get a 20% drop in pricing. Solar panels went from $15 and $10 a watt to as little as 50 cents a watt over the last 15 years. So people expect that, well, as we increase the production capacity for batteries, the battery price will come down. And then we really have solved the renewable energy issue in Australia. There's a problem because as we're opening new lithium mines to increase capacity and bring the price down, the electric car industry at the same time is taking off. And both the home storage systems, as well as the electric cars, they're both competing for the lithium. So the lithium price hasn't come down. We've had the post-COVID period now with increase in storage costs, with increase in transport costs, with increase in energy costs. And so what's the end result? For example, a Tesla battery, if I wanted to have wanted to install three years ago, I might have paid $14,000. But right now, um, depending if it's region or city, I could pay as much as $19,000 for the same battery. So batteries actually haven't come down. They've gone up. Now, how can we solve that? As I said, in Australia, we have some of the best lithium and some of the largest mines in the world. So we have a key advantage already with the product. Now, what about if we would start a local battery manufacturing industry, control the price points, increase the volume, create a great export product, and at that point in time, also solve the issue with all the solar in the middle of the day to be able to be used in the afternoon and at night. Want more Energy Answered? Visit yourenergyanswers.com for quality energy products, tools and calculators, and find your quality local installers. Please support the channel by liking the video, hit that subscribe button, and ring the bell, and check out all our other videos. You're still here? I'll see you next time. Bye.